us basically so today we are going to be uh, creating the ui for the home page uh, including this the dialog uh, the floating action button to actually add a new task okay so to do that we are just going to create a simple action button yeah for adding a new task and so i'll just i actually have a place for this so um, permit me if i copy this and paste it here so uh, we're going to the home page uh, this is where we're, we're going to be working on now so from this home page we have the app bar and then from here we'll be adding the floating action button so let's just comment this for now because this one will lead us to creating a tax page okay so if we uh, save this now you're going to see the floating action button but it's not supposed to be blue right it's not supposed to be blue because the default color of this application is actually purple which is actually the the primary color so we're going to modify that uh, by going to our main dot that okay so inside here we have the team okay we have our team so inside here i'll be creating a floating action button team floating action button team yeah so we have a floating floating action button team data and here we have the background color to be primary color like so so we save that and uh, okay save that yeah this should take effect now right yeah now it's purple and you can see it's small because if you look here now inside our home page you can see i actually set the minify to true but if we remove that minify now it's going to be big a little um you can it depends on how you want it if you want it to be small if you want it to be big but no problem but just know that floating action body has many properties you can work with all right so i will leave it that way and now we're going to be building the ui uh for this page so first thing that i'm going to do is to add uh, a container inside this body so i'm going to be building the body and this body is going to have a container as the parents which is the child and then i'm going to give it a padding because i want the padding to be around it so it wouldn't be nice everything just gets to the end of the the edge of the page okay so let's just give it some padding there and then i will be adding okay for this i'll be having something like uh because we'll be using future builder for this okay to actually fetch the tags but since i want to build dummy data first okay for the ui what i'm going to do is just to create i'll be creating first thing first let me create a list okay so i'll be creating a list so this list is just going to be empty for now tags okay so it's going to be an empty array okay so here right here now i'll be doing something like okay the child so if uh, let's say task dot is empty then we can just return this way we're going to return an empty string okay then else if it's not empty we can just return data is here okay yeah stuff like that so if i save it now you're going to see it's empty it's going to show this gibberish okay but this is not what I want to show. What I want to show is more like an empty a container. I've already designed it. So what I'm just going to do is just to uh, copy and paste it here. Uh, like so. This is an empty array. Empty items. Okay. So you can see it's a container. So this one is also going to lead us to uh, create tax page. You're going to see the button later. But let me just uh, comment it first. And then save this so you're going to see how the ui is going to look if the to do is empty so you're going to have to do list is empty create tags i want to click on this create tags it's going to take us to the tax page to create a new tax so this is just the design center column and a test to do list is empty and uh, this blah 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 and if the data is already here so what i normally do what i will do i will create a list view okay so i already have the list view or uh, what i'm just going to do is okay basically just to return a list view here that's if the data is not empty okay then it, it will have a children and i'll be using because i want to show some data below it but for now let me just use this view or list to generate okay so the length is just going to be five for now okay and then we can now return let's just return a test like a five test like so okay and save it remember the list is not empty so let's just check for something if the list is not empty let's just modify this a little bit 
they say that we should we are going to see the data uh, is actually five okay because this top now is five so uh, what I'm going to do now inside this home page this is my screen I'm going to create a tax feed page so this tax feed page is more like a custom widget okay is a custom widget like a custom view that we are going to display it's more like a list tie okay it's more like a list tie but I actually made it custom okay and so that's what we are going to be working on working with and it has already has a checkbox as well so instead of me recording it uh, from scratch I'm just going to copy it and then you guys can see uh, maybe when you get to the github repo too you can actually see that as well so this is the home page and what I will do now I will just have okay I will create a new folder and I call this on tax page okay tax page and this home page that will be inside because it's actually the tax page as well to view the tax so I'll move it inside the tax page okay so that's going to be the tax home page which is actually inside the tax and then inside this tax I'm, I'm going to create a widget which is I'll call it local widget so this widget is only used inside it's only used for this actually going to be a file a folder sorry so we'll be calling this one local widgets yeah uh, local widgets okay then inside here I'll be having a tax view container so the view container which I talked about which is going to be the list view uh, a list type sorry so this is a local widget we also we have another widget this one is global widgets okay this is a local widget that's going to be only going to be used for the ties uh basically for the basically for the tax page okay so i'm going to paste it here and we can remove all of this and then we import it again so this is a tax page tax feed okay custom tax feed that i created is a stateful widget and it takes uh, various parameters title task tax id and blah 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 and initial and this will be called for us to go navigate to the tax details page but for now we have not implemented tax details page so i'm just going to leave it like so and then we can import green uh, import our colors and that is it okay so now what we can do now is to go i will, sh I will share this in the github repo you're going to see it so now what we can do now is to go to the home page so if the tax is actually is not empty so what we can do is just to return a simple uh, the tax feed page right here okay so what I will do now is just to return tax feed which is a custom tax feed and it takes uh, the first thing it takes is an initial index so that index is actually going to be the index okay of the app yeah each of the item the index of each of the items so we'll have an uh, index okay so I will have index plus one like so and then i will have uh, the title so let me just call this one hello world which is like the title and the subtitle basically we're just going to return the time okay and then we have uh, the is completed okay by default you can just set this one to false and uh, then we can pass the tax ID that will help us to delete the tax and also update. So the tax ID is just going to be ID, like so. Yeah. So we can terminate this. So now watch what will happen if I save this code. And again, we're going to see that we're going to have all those IDs. Okay. Something is not proper. Okay. Something is actually missing here. Uh huh. Uh, it's supposed to update uh, let's do a hot restart to see let's do a hot restart to see what the matter the problem is alright so I'm going to change it back to not empty save it and we should see all right so now we have our hello world we have the uh, the time the title and all the index so if we click on this stuff now you can see it's checked but it's not supposed to be like this 
and when, once it's checked you can see it has this strike through because each of these stops I've already handled them inside the tax view container so if you look here now I actually did something if once we click on the checkbox I reset the is completed to force through or depending on the value and now right here now you can see I change the leading uh, sorry uh, yeah the leading icon which is a cycle avatar so if the widget is completed you, if you see to true I change it to green you can see now it's green and also the test inside uh, where is the test uh, okay the test widget at initial so if it's false we actually change it to 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 amber that is this one as our false now if I click it now you can see it to change to amber and this one will change to green so I've already handled each of all these things inside and also the strike through if you check the test now you can see the if widget is completed is equal to true I set it to line through I set a line through inside else I set it to none the same thing I did here too okay so you can you might want to look through this to actually get an idea of what is going on here okay guess I'm we are going to end this uh, video here then in the next video in the next section we are going to navigate to we are going to create the add to do page and details page as well alright so see you guys in the next video.